think of myself, I think, as a, as a sculptor, in a way. My interests are very formal, but I'm also very interested in narrative structures, and I'm interested in creation of characters and function of props. But I think in the end of the day, I think what I am, I'm becoming some kind of a director. So everything is becoming like tools I'm using. I started really making my art when I moved to Berlin. I was really interested in sculpture. So when I applied to school, I applied for sculpture. And I was like dealing, at the time I was like dealing a lot with metal and I was like welding and I did like those kind of like much more bigger sculptures. And then the, the sculpture became a bit more performative. They became more about like making the sculptures and not the object themselves. So they became a bit more theatrical in a way. And then when theatre came in, into the game, I start introducing my collages and my black and white Xerox work into the videos. And this is when those two things merged that made very sense to me. So basically I was doing with collage work and sculpture work and video work connecting those two things for me. And I'm using the camera frame as the physical space that inside of it I build and collage images and spaces playing with depth and playing with scale. You see environment and it looks like everything else before, it's like the black and white images, and you don't know what's the size or the depth of an environment until you see a body inside of it. I want you to see them because I want you to see anything. There is no mystery. I mean, everything is pretty transparent. Transparency is really important. I, mean, I want to see every push pin. I want to see every piece of paper. I want to see every gesture that is pulling or it's moving. I get my inspiration from everywhere from watching television, everyday life. Obviously, the objects I use are very domestic and very mundane and very familiar. So everyday life is a big inspiration for me. Before Poison, there was a pretty straightforward set of drawings I made. So it was very clear, you could see the gas station, the mountains, the highways, the dump yard, the water park, the environments that I worked with later in the movie, they were all laid out in the storyboard. The object that I was interested in was also there. Objects are always coming from a specific context and that context and its meaning and its function is related to the culture they are in. And I'm trying to see what can I do with them to divorce them from that context. And once they divorce, once they are free, to see what I can do with them in order to create another context and to see how they function in a different set of events.
from zero again, I was interested in measuring devices. And because measuring tape is measuring physical space and the hourglass is measuring physical time. So I just collected some objects that are measuring devices for me so I can use them as characters. And I was interested in the soccer ball. As a ready-made object, you know, soccer and all the sport and all the activities that comes around it and all the culture that comes around it. But I was also interested in it as an object and as a shape. And as a shape, it's actually, it's a fold, it's a two-dimensional shape that is folded into a three-dimensional shape. Pato, 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 Pato. Oh. Yeah, it's the formal qualities of materials and shapes and the way that they uh, interact with each other. I mean, for me, I'm much more interested in the ephemeral qualities of the material I'm working, because I mean, the materials I'm working with, if it's the paper, I'm interested in the paper and its material quality of a carry of an image and the way that sometimes it's, it's becoming a two-dimensional, it's becoming a three-dimensional image and the way that those images are created and made that those images are being mediated. The materials also, so if I think about the lace, for example, in poison, I think about the lace as the liquid. So, and this is a sculptural moment, the way, the way the lace is flowing, I cannot make it in real life. So I need the theater and the context of the whole narrative around it for it to become what it is. So the sculpture that I am making, they are creating in the context of the videos. The sculptures that I'm creating existing only in those situations.